After 35 years on Broadway, Phantom of the Opera is dropping the curtains for good. For most, it will be the last time they see the musical, at least here. We wanted to see the Phantom one more time before it ends, sadly. Phantom of the Opera, based on the French novel from 1910, first debuted in London in 1986, two years later in New York City. Since then, it has toured widely and seen by 140 million people in 33 countries. But it's here on Broadway that is often a highlight for theater fans. The musical has over 130 cast, crew, and orchestra members involved in every performance. It's a full meal when you walk into this theater. It's a big orchestra, 26 pieces in that orchestra. It's a big cast, beautiful costumes. I mean, it's, it's everything. Phantom of the Opera is everything. Almost 20 million tickets have been sold to its showings, 13,981 performances, and $1.3 billion in gross sales. 35 years on Broadway, $1.3 billion? That's unheard of. But the COVID pandemic forced Broadway to go completely dark for nearly 18 months. The music stopped. When Broadway finally fully reopened in September 2021, audiences were slow to return. And the ones who did often booked tickets for other marquee plays, such as Lion King, Chicago, or Hamilton. Ticket sales to Phantom of the Opera plummeted and could not offset rising costs to put on the production. Add it all up, and that's why producers decided the show could no longer go on. But not all is lost. Phantom is still playing at Her Majesty's Theater in London. And there are plans for a Mandarin version to open in China next year. Gabriel Ozondo, Al Jazeera, New York.